There are a number of great reasons to open up extra current accounts. It could be to take advantage of a switching bonus, earn cash back on your spending, to get a high interest rate on your savings, all great reasons to get them. However, there is another lot of current accounts. If you're really keen to take it to the next level and get even more back from your banks, from even more than one bank account, keep getting these extra things in, it's worth looking, I think, at these reward current accounts. There are a handful out there from maybe half a dozen different banks. And they're offering everything from free cinema tickets, free movie rentals, uh, up to cash bonus every single month, five pounds a month, which might feel like small things, small amounts. But what I love about these reward accounts is once you've set them up, once you've opened them up and set a few things in motion, that money keeps coming. Those freebies keep coming month after month after month. Effectively, these are passive rewards. You don't have to do much at all. And it's essentially money for nothing then. Now, of course, there are going to be requirements for these. There will be a few catches. There may be a few things which uh, you have to sort of do a few little workarounds, which I'll take you through in order to make this as easy as possible and take uh, all that kind of admin out of it. But when you do that, then I think it's well worth considering some of them, not all of them, okay? Some of them are good. Some of them are a complete waste of your time and effort. And I will take you through in a moment all those accounts, what, how you get them, what you get, how you get them. Plus at the end, I'll show you some of my hacks to make it easier for you to get a number of these different rewards. And let's start off with the one that I think is the easiest to get, which is why I think there's no reason for anyone not to go and get one of these accounts. This is the Club Lloyd's current account. Every single year, you get to choose a lifestyle benefit which you'll get for the next 12 months. And your choices are six free cinema tickets, a monthly movie rental, a magazine subscription, a physical subscription, or a dining membership. In order to get this, uh, you have to uh, pay in uh, £1,500 a month. That's going up to £2,000 from the 1st of April 2023. As long as you do that, you deposit that two grand in every single month. Doesn't have to be in one go, doesn't have to stay there. You can put it in, take it out, you can do it in one lot, you can do it in four lots of 500 or whatever mix you want to do. If you do that, you avoid a three pound fee on the account. You obviously don't want to be paying for this and it's easy to avoid that fee. You can automate that money coming in. I'll talk more about that at the end, but automate it via standing order. So the money goes into the account and then goes off elsewhere. So once you've opened the account and you've set up that standing order, you do nothing else. That freebie is yours. Now the value of that, it depends obviously how much you're participating in local cinema, how much that charges. Uh, it could be anything between five pounds and 15 pounds, depending where you are. Um, but the movie rentals, they're about five pound 50 each. So you could look at that, you're getting uh, a dozen of those a year. That's around 65, 66 quid. That's better than nothing if you're gonna make those movie rentals. Again, cinema tickets could be around the same thing. Personally, I've gone for the magazine subscription, which is probably valued a bit less than that. Probably that's around 40 quid in total. But that's how much I probably have to pay for it elsewhere but it's a nice extra to have. Although I could get that magazine for free digitally via my local library, it's nice to get it physical copy every single month. Really, really easy. Now you can have two of these reward accounts if you want. You have one for yourself and one joint account, which actually means if you're able to get a joint account, that could be three accounts because you have both have a personal account and you have that joint account. So if you wanted to, you could get a choice of those. You get cinema tickets, movie rentals, and a magazine or three magazines or however you want to do it. So it's a great one to have. And I think this is why my number one pick because it is so easy once you set it up to get that freebie. Now do bear in mind here, Lloyd's often do bank switching offers. At the time of recording this, there is actually a deal in progress, which I talked about in another video. However, it doesn't include this Club Lloyd's account itself. However, broadly, whenever these switching deals have run with Lloyd's Bank, they've been open to existing customers. So I personally would be confident if you haven't already got this account, just to open it up, even if a switching deal isn't running right now, and I will give you updates every single month in my current account news and offers updates when there are switching deals live for this and other banks we'll be talking about in this video, I'd be confident to open the account in and hopefully get that switching offer later on. If you're not sure about it and there isn't a deal, an offer running right now, then maybe just wait. But again, really easy to get this, at least one of them and potentially two or three of them if you are in a couple. Now the next one, and I should say, obviously, this bit you're seeing on the side of the screen here, that is from my website, becleveryourcash.com. So you can go and read about these again if you want to over there. And uh, this is the Halifax Reward account. Now you can actually have three of these. And I did do a whole video recently taking you through that and the tricks and the hacks in order to get this because you do have to a little bit more admin here. So if you're interested in getting more than one of these, in fact, if you're interested in getting one of these accounts, do check out that video as well. 
With this one, not only do you get in better offers in terms of cinema tickets, this time rather than six cinema tickets you get with Lloyd's here, you get 12, one every single month. You get 24 movie rentals, again, double what you would have got with the Club Lloyd's account. Or you get three digital magazine subscriptions. Again, I wouldn't bother with that because your local library should be able to give you access to free magazines that way. I'd go for the either the movie rentals, the cinema tickets, or, and this is personally what I go for, five pounds a month cash. Because you can use that cash for whatever you want. You can use that cash to movie rentals, to cinema tickets, but you've got more choice. Or just for your groceries. And right now, with all the rising costs everywhere, cash might be an even better option. Five pounds a month, 60 quid a year per account. Remember, you can have three of these. So potentially, that's 60 quid if you have one, 120 quid if you have two, 180 quid if you have three. Now, in order to get this one, there is a little bit more to do. You have to pay, uh, well, you can avoid, there's a monthly fee of three pounds. You can avoid this by paying 1,500 pounds in every single month. I wouldn't be surprised if that increases to 2,000 pounds at some point this year following the change that's happening with Lloyd's Bank. Nothing on that yet, but I wouldn't be surprised if that does happen. So if that is, just keep an eye on it. They'll tell you and you'll have to obviously amend any standing orders you have going into it to make sure that happens. Do that, avoid the fee. So this is free, but there's an extra step you have to take. You've got a choice here. You can either have 5,000 pounds saved in the account every single day of the month. I would not do that, okay? Because you're missing out on better returns via high paying savings accounts. Again, every single month I do my update on the latest savings rate. So if you've got money in savings, check that out to find the best place to put your money. That or, so we're not doing that one, or spend 500 pounds on your debit card every single month. Uh, now, initially I wasn't keen on this because I want to earn money on a cashback card instead. However, there are a workaround. In fact, there's a number of workarounds on this, which are detailed in that video I mentioned just now. Rather than spending 500 pounds on a debit card at the supermarket, on petrol, whatever it might be, you can actually use your debit card to pay off your cashback credit card if you want to. So say you spent 500 pounds on the cashback credit card, earn your money there, you then spend 500 pounds with a debit card to pay that off, you're getting the five pound twice effectively, 1% back on 500 pounds plus uh, five pounds back on that reward. Or you can do it by sending money to NSNI Savings, or you can do it by sending money to Revolut. Again, I've detailed all of this in that separate video, so if you're interested, check that out. Obviously, if you're gonna have more than one of these accounts, you need to do that three times. That might be trickier, but it is absolutely possible. So again, I think this is a, takes a little bit more admin. Every single month, I spend about five, 10 minutes, most probably five minutes, just paying, uh, doing that transaction at 500 pounds on the debit card to one of those different ways. The rest of it is automated, the money moving around and I'm making in 15 quid a month from my three accounts here. Really, really easy one to do. Again, thoroughly recommend you have a look at this. Again, if you feel a bit overwhelmed by having too many accounts, then don't go for it. You've got to be confident. You've got to make sure you do at least put in that 1,500 pounds every single month to avoid the fee. You do not want this account to be costing you money, but I think again, a really, really easy one to, to be going for here. Uh, those two combined, the Club Lloyds and the Halifax Water accounts, they are my top two. I definitely recommend looking at those. But then we go on to the next tier here, the other reward accounts. And the first one to tell you about here, in fact, it's two banks offering the same accounts. So you can actually have this reward account from both NatWest and RBS. In fact, you can have it twice at each bank. You have a personal and a joint at NatWest, a personal and a joint at RBS. So potentially there could be another four accounts you're getting here. What you get is five pounds a month, which sounds fantastic, but the fee on this is two pounds a month. And that fee cannot be wiped out. So in reality, you're gonna be getting three pounds a month for per reward account from these banks, maximum of 36 quid a year, which is not bad. It's something, it's better than nothing, right? Uh, in order to trigger that bonus, you do have to do a little bit more though, in terms of, it might be a bit more admin up front. Two direct debits of at least two pounds. So again, one of those accounts, probably easier for you to figure that out and sort that out. If you start having two at both those banks, four of those accounts, that's eight direct debits you've got to set up worth at least two pounds. That could be harder. Although I have got a whole video taking you through extra direct debits, fast, quick, cheap direct debits you can set up, which shouldn't be costing you any money. And if they are costing you any money at their very worst, you're donating to charity. But ideally, well not ideally, you might, I think it's great to put the money to charity, but potentially you're just putting money to maybe a savings account and then clawing it back to yourself. So again, it shouldn't cost you anything. It shouldn't wipe out the rewards you get just because you're spending money 
elsewhere. You also need to log into your online account or the app once a month. So set up a reminder to make sure you do that. And you have to deposit £1,250 every single month. So again, make sure you do that. It doesn't have to be in one go, but again, it has to happen in order to trigger that bonus, that £5 monthly reward. Again, I think that this is one that if you've already got an Atrust account, maybe you open it up for one of the switching offers, then great. Maybe you've opened up one of these accounts to get the digital regular saver, then fantastic. But I wouldn't go out of my way just to get it for the sake of 36 quid a year. It's probably an account you've already got in order to get that little bit extra, then you may as well do it. The next one is the Barclays Blue Rewards account. I've spoken about that a few times on the channel recently. Uh, because if you have Barclays Blue Rewards, you get access to a 5.12% paying savings account on balances of up to 5k which is fantastic that will earn you a decent amount of cash and that is a reason possibly to look at getting the blue rewards a Barclays current account with a blue rewards add-on however the if you don't want that savings account this is one that's probably worth avoiding because although you get five pound reward every single month there's a five pound fee so you're earning five pounds, but you're spending five pounds. So you're getting a big fat zero. You're canceling out. The only reason again to get this is because then to get access to that savings account. But there are some requirements just worth mentioning here as well. You have to have at least two direct debits come out of that account and at least 800 pounds has to be deposited every single month. So you've got to make sure you do those. If you are getting it for the savings account, make sure you do that. Otherwise you're going to get charged five pounds, not get the five pound reward. And then actually you're going to wipe out even those interest you're getting. Uh, again, so I would not be looking at this one for any reason other than maybe that additional interest account, but it's one to definitely one to think about because of that. All right, now we're on to the last couple of accounts. This is the Co-op Everyday Rewards account. This one will earn you £1 every single month, guaranteed. And you can get an extra £1.20 or up to £1.20 every single month if you use your debit card. You get two pence cash back for every time you use a debit card up to 60 times. So in total, you can get £1.20, add that onto the £1 that's guaranteed, at most £2.20 a month, at most £24.60 over a year. But like I said, you have to spend at least 60 times on your debit card. That strikes me as a complete waste of time. I would not be bothering about doing that for such a small amount of money. Plus, you need to have four direct debits coming out and put £800 in. For me, this is not worth it for the upfront admin at all. Even if you have the account, I wouldn't even bother with this. I would just let it be a normal or current account for however you want to use it. Maybe for ethical reasons, I certainly won't bother with it for this FAF. And it's a similar story for the next two accounts, the last two reward accounts I'm going to tell you about. These are both from TSB. They are the Spend and Save account and the Spend and Save Plus account. First of all, the Spend and Save account. This one will earn you £5 cash back every single month for the first six months. After that, nada, nothing, zilch, okay? No fee though, so it's free. So potentially, if you do this, you'll earn 30 quid. Okay, which yeah, I think might not be too bad. And there are occasionally switching deals or cashback deals from Quidco and Top Cashback to earn money to open it up. So you might think if you're doing that for that money, you may as well do this as well to get a little bit extra on top. Maybe, maybe, but again, like that co-op account, you have to use your debit card a number of times. This time it's 30. You have to do it at least 30 times every single month. So once a day in order to trigger that five pound cashback. You can have one of these as a personal account and one of these as a joint account if you wish to, at least potentially more than that. It does say that, uh, you know, there's, that you can have more. It doesn't say how many you can have. And obviously, you've got to apply. There might be limitations, but you could have more than this. But that is, again, a lot of transactions you have to make. So I've had people, uh, readers and viewers, get back in touch with me and say that one of the hacks they use for this and for the co-op account is maybe just to top up uh, a little bit of money on an Amazon account every single month or to uh, send that money uh, the same way you with the Halifax reward account into a savings account, uh, little bits of cash all the time. Again, I, I think it's too much admin. I don't think it's worth it for the amount of money you're going to earn there. And very quickly, I'll tell you about, again, the spend and save account, spend and save plus account from TSB, same five pound cash back every single month, but this one has a three pound fee. So you're looking at a two pound profit every single month, but it continues uh, after that six months. You'll keep getting it. So in the first year, 24 quid, again, 24 quid the second year. So over time, you'd earn more on this one than you would with the free account, but certainly not for the first uh, year. Again, 30 payments, I wouldn't bother at all with that one. Uh, if you really, really want to, you can go ahead with it. But again, I, I would not bother at all. So there are the different reward accounts you can look at. And as I promised, I want to give you uh, my kind of tips on how to work around these hacks to make this as easy as possible as passive income if you're going to go for a few of these. Again, I would look at probably only 
Lloyd's account, maybe two of those personal and joint account, and the Halifax Reward accounts, three of those, and then maybe, 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 maybe the NatWest, RBS, and Barclays ones, if you're getting them for other reasons and you've already got the accounts, then maybe it's worth trigger them, ignore co-op and uh, TSB, from my opinion. So you want to make it as easy as possible. You want to automate it and you want to make sure you hit those requirements. Well, the big one here, the big, big requirement across all of those accounts we've mentioned that I think are worth going for is that deposit every single month. Money has to go in. The way you can do this, again, you can do it in a lump sum or you can do it in multiple things. I'm going to assume you can put a single amount of money in every single month. Now, if you're worried about that cash going, um, you need it, you want to do it quickly, you can do it manually. So spend 10 minutes on one day every single month, transfer the money in from one, then to the next, then to the next, then to the next, then to the next, and that money will back in your account straight away. A little bit of admin you have to do on one day, not too taxing. You've just got to remember to do it though, because if you forget, then you're going to be uh, hit with those fees or miss out on the rewards. If you don't mind that money sort of disappearing and circulating around the accounts, then you can automate it this with standing orders. You can have it a single standing, a single lump of sum that goes through all the accounts, or maybe you have uh, two amounts potentially on the smaller ones going at the same time around a few different accounts so they're not away from your bank for such a long time. Uh, start with the most expensive one, that Halifax, uh, sorry, that Lloyd's account, £2,000 has to go into the account in uh, a month, right? So I would transfer this, what I do, standing order, transfer that money into my Lloyd's account. I've only got one of them, I haven't got the joint account there, so it just goes across one. If you are looking at moving money between the same bank, just double check the terms and conditions that you are allowed for a transfer to come from the same bank. It doesn't have to come from an external bank. Once that Lloyd's account is there, I then move it to the next account. And the next, obviously, the highest monthly deposit that's required is the Halifax accounts, 1500 But I'm going to be spending some of that money on the debit card. So instead, what I would do is I move that money into NatWest, then into Barclays, and then into Halifax. So I move it across. Standing order money goes in, automated. I leave it a couple of days to account for weekends and bank holidays just in case the money hasn't moved over. You can obviously check this by bank if you want to, if, they, if that does affect it. Move that money in, wait a couple of days, move it to the next one, wait a couple of days, move it to the next one. You do not have to do anything. It just happens for itself. Then it will land in that Halifax account, the first Halifax account. Now I've got three of them. So I then need to transfer that money. I can automate this if I want to. I don't bother to do it at the same time. That same money can transfer with Halifax internally between Halifax to Halifax to Halifax. So I move it manually between the three accounts. Still got two grand in there. 500 quid of that I do not need. So I transfer that by standing order, goes back to my main account, the original account I had. However, uh, I'm then there with 1,500. I put 500 in each account and then I spend on each account to get that spending requirement that's necessary for that bonus. That money all goes out to different places. Some of it pays off a cashback credit card. Some of it might go to a savings account. That money, I can then, if it's available at a different savings account, I can transfer it back to my main account later on. But all that admin, it really isn't much. It takes me 10 minutes, 15 minutes at most every single month to do that. Well worth it for that uh, reward that I get. And again, that's it. All the other rewards, it's all simplified. It all happens. The important thing to note here about two of the accounts, well, the NatWest RBS and the Barclays account, so three of the different accounts there, is the money you get, the money you earn, does not get paid directly into your current account. You have to go in and withdraw it from a separate wallet on each account. So just bear that in mind. Just ensure that you do have enough to cover the fee in the account every single month. And if you're going in, you often have to check your app once a month anyway. I put a reminder in my calendar to do this. Go in, check it, transfer that money across. That's fine. It covers the fee. Anything I have maybe, uh, depending on what the fee is, an extra sort of five, ten pounds just sitting there just to ensure I cover it in case I forget from one month to the next. You might think it sounds a bit complicated, but I promise you, once you get in the rhythm, really, really easy, and you're getting all these extra money, all these extra freebies coming through month after month after month. And when times are like right now, I think it's well worth giving this a go. My name is Andy Webb. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know how many reward accounts you've got, how much money you're making every single month, and check out these videos right here for more ways to maximize your bank account.